Listeners and subscribers, hope all is going well. Coming at you today with some content. Really, I think what we want to see is, at least in the political world, is efforts to pull people together from both sides, okay? Because increasingly what we see is more and more is partisanship. We need to be pulling people towards the middle, you know, moderate and centrist. You know, you've got this both parties abandoning anything that resembles uh, bipartisanship, okay? Both parties have abandoned that, including independence, okay? Things are increasingly more divisive. And it's hard not to imagine that a lot of this is attributed to artificially inflated narratives. You know, if they can't spin a story from organically created divides, if they can't do that, they'll just fabricate them all together. That's what we saw with Smollett. That's what we saw with Christine Blasey Ford. All right. And if you notice this trend, politics is more toxic now. OK, let's use the word. You have this situation where debates are more on the on one end of the spectrum or the other rather than anywhere in the middle. Like I was saying, we don't have discussions anymore. The gentleman's deliberation is becoming a fading art. It's more like people just want to espouse their viewpoints, uh, espouse their beliefs. They don't want to listen. Like we saw with, you know, Colin Kaepernick, right? And, you know, I don't necessarily have a problem with this stuff in, in, in principle. It's, it's just the way that they're using this stuff. You know, he was tapped by a Marine saying, well, maybe you shouldn't sit down. You know, maybe you should take a knee because that's how, you know, some of them honor their, honor their dead. And really what we're seeing is this instance of an individual who is peacefully protesting okay which army men and women fight and die for that right and and that's what we see it was it was a protest against you know police brutality i don't agree with all the ways that it was going uh the people were going about it but i'm saying this is just one of those examples that they were able to make this a a big political uh debacle and create more divide okay pulling people who have nothing to do with politics with you know people who are just wearing shoes and watching sports and pulling those people into political paradigms <laughs> And that's why I bring this up is because they're trying to tap people from the sports world, from the celebrity world, um, from all different elements uh, to try to bring them in and to polarize them. If they can pull them into politics, uh, they can increase the division. They can increase the amount of people who are fighting people. And, you know, I may be jumping from Smollett to Blasey Ford to Colin Kaepernick. Don't look at these as isolated incidents. They're not. OK, these these are all incidents on a timeline that add up to something in the end, okay? It's all small pieces of a bigger picture. So when people like myself and others in my circle say that people are being programmed or conditioned or indoctrinated and you ask why or how, uh, these are these these are the examples we point to to show you it's how they spin the narratives it's how the scenarios ultimately unfold in media and in the consciousness of the people see the people are more powerful than they'll ever realize but they're too busy being distracted you know the powers that be have got all these initiatives that are pulling people's attention away from things that we don't see it the public don't don't see it you know they want to be entertained when i put something out it's to put out a message it's to have a deeper meaning it's to let you know something it's to try to give you some deeper thoughts some different perspective a multifaceted angle okay this isn't <laughs> this isn't entertainment necessarily you know what i mean this is more about understanding it's less about entertainment if i put something out it's trying to get somebody to understand a perspective so maybe individuals can have an informed decision so people can know that there's campaigns out there that are meant to work against us Again, people want to be entertained when they're being distracted, you know? Michael Jackson, right? The leaving Neverland. R. Kelly, you know, doing what he did. R. R. Kelly, you know, what is he? Uh, he's a symptom, okay? Y people are always talking about, yeah, pedophilia in Hollywood's a big problem. Yeah, out there in Hollywood, they're doing a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah, we know this stuff in the back of our minds, but when stuff like this comes out with R. Kelly and, and, and Michael Jackson, we want to be entertained by it. We don't want a different perspective. We don't want a different angle. We don't want to see this as multifaceted. We don't want to see this as a bigger symptom, okay? We don't want to cut the head off of the snake. We don't want it. What's going on? A lot of these people out there, a lot of you people out there, we need to reprioritize. Anyone who's bringing you information, take the good, throw out the bad, eat the meat, spit out the bones. I'll continue to reiterate it. I, I try to offer sometimes a slower, more thought intensive view on things. And sometimes that can really drive home certain perspectives when you're trying to articulate things. I think it's better to have cohesive ideas. <laughs> uh, that gets thrown out the window, right? With this video, there's all these things, different things going on, keeping us distracted and we're losing in the spiritual war we're losing sight of why we're here get saved while you can believe in something we're already falling for all the lies that politicians feed us falling for the system hook line and sinker like we aren't debt slaves like there isn't something more nefarious coming to america that the government's getting prepared for but aren't telling the people about 
Pay attention. This is bigger than us. It's bigger than me. Anyway, I think this has gotten away from us. Or maybe it's just right on point. Either way, take care of yourselves out there. California Carter, signing off. Thank you.